I've had an interesting relationship with, with the concept of risk. I personally believe that you, you know, you're really not going to innovate that much if you don't take risk. Experimental Electric 89 Charlie Yankees departing 3-3 three, three for left traffic. I'm not a daredevil, you know, I'm not a, um, I'm not a big risk taker, I would never sky dive or bungee jump or anything like that. But there are those times when I strap into the airplane and it's like, I have to acknowledge the fact that I can be killed doing this. Uh, I got a problem. I've lost, uh, lost power. One day when I was 36, I walked away from my desk job and set off on a journey to become a motorcycle racer. I started as an amateur and I did it on the weekends and I got hooked. I got into the professional ranks in, in just two years um, and then I broke my pelvis. It, it made me sit back at a desk again um, and so I was very restless and I decided to get a couple guys from Boeing and come up with an electric motorcycle. None of us had ever designed an electric vehicle. We all just came into a little a storage unit that we rented and built the thing from the ground up and you know, it ended up becoming the world's fastest electric motorcycle. All my life I've been really excited about gas engines, but when I got introduced to electric motors, I was converted overnight. The electric motor is better in almost every respect. The problem with electric vehicles, as people know, is not the motor, it's the batteries. And so as batteries get better, we're going to see more and more shifting to electric vehicles. So we're sitting on this electric motorcycle that set all these records, and it made us wonder, well, if we got away with that, what else can we do? And we decided to build this electric airplane. Airplanes now are loud and dirty, and they burn a lot of gas. So we thought, if we want to make an, an impact, this is the perfect application for our technology. The first flight of this airplane, um, I was very apprehensive. I went down the runway, really having no idea whether the airplane was gonna fly or not. And it flew. Next day, I decided to fly it again and see how fast it would go. So the French had the speed record at about 175 miles an hour. And we thought, we can, we can probably beat that with what we've got. Okay, see you guys later. I basically floored it. Level flight, 202 miles an hour. Yeehaw! And so we're celebrating it, you know, on the radio. Yay, we did it, 202 miles an hour. And then, pow, there's this pop. And the cabin starts filling up with, like, a gas, you know? 89 Charlie Yankee, I think I might have damaged some batteries. No power at all. And I had to glide this airplane and try to make it back to the runway. At the last minute, I thought I'm going to skip off the runway and crash into the desert. My main wheels touched, and then I just stalled out the front wing and got it on the ground. It was the most outrageous thing <laughs> that I've ever pulled off in my life. Woo! Holy crap! We demonstrated that this electric airplane can actually beat gasoline airplanes in speed and climb, but it won't fly very long, so it'll only fly about an hour and 20 minutes. And so to address that, we're building another electric airplane and trying to fly it across the Atlantic using a series of battery-powered drones to recharge me as I go. It takes five drones for me to get from New York to Paris, and they're coming from different places, meeting me and keeping me flying as I go across. If we pull this off, electric airplanes could be available for everybody. I get it wrong, they're fishing me out of the Atlantic. It's, it's wholly impractical, it's, it's super dangerous, and uh, I want to do it. I'm 
I'm at a juncture now where I've done this crazy R&D. We've built up a huge patent portfolio. How do we commercialize it? How do we make it reliable and safe and, and take an electric airplane to where Elon Musk has taken an electric car? We're building something for the U.S. Navy. Um, we've got an R&D contract with them, and I'm working on a venture that we will fund with venture capital, a drone delivery service. If you have a dream and you're doing something that you don't want to be doing, you know, life is passing you by. A small person and a group of ragtag volunteers can, can do pretty cool stuff.